Hey guys, update on a few things. Um, took this sucker out yesterday. I'm not gonna post the footage until after the quarantine is officially lifted because of rules. Um, but took it out yesterday, did really well. Um, the 520 seems to be about the same as the 500 until you put it on stock um, oversized tires. On stock tires, I did not notice much of a difference uh, between the 500s and the 520, whatever. But once you go up to these tires, it doesn't really lose that much power. I was still able to, you know, neutral drop, wheelies, pop it up and take a gear, get off the ground. It, uh, it handles the bigger tires a little bit better. Um, so, like, here's how I would tell you the difference between the 520 and which really is a 500 or 475. Um, the best tire size for a stock 500 is 28s. The best tire size for a stock 520 is 30s. And that means I don't need a gear reduction to run 30s, which means it's faster, it's snappier, it's more fun. Um, hauled ass on this thing, burn a whole tank of gas on it. Um, no complaints, excellent machine. Um, I did get my professionally cut um, black bears done. I don't have them yet, I gotta go pick them up next weekend in Georgia. Um, if you wanna see some pictures, they're on the Mud Puppy question and answer page. Um, people ask for an update on this thing all the time. It's doing great, it's like a daily driver. Um, drive it to work and stuff. Uh, I haven't done a ton of off-roading with it lately because Florida trails are really sandy and I've got dual sport tires on it, which aren't the best in sand. Um, but it is a lot of fun when I go up in the mountains and, you know, do stuff like that. Um, but hopefully planning on making a little track for this thing soon so I can use it more, do some jumps and whatnot. Um, got an old XR400R running, some jetting on there. Um, three wheels running good. Oh, Demon Axles. So this thing is running all four Demon Axles. Again, put a good ride on it yesterday. Um, these axles are tough. I mean, we were doing some stupid stuff, you know, dropping, the, dropping it in gear, all kinds of crap. These tires are like 70 something pounds a piece with the tire and wheel. These all threes on the 16 inch B-locks. Um, so these axles are definitely Mud Puppy approved. We've got to give it a testing on them. Uh, my buddy Bo is running them with the uh, 32.5 Outlaws and he drives hard, harder than I do probably. And he has not broken one yet. Also pro tip, when you park your bike in the garage after a lot of water riding, leave your airbox cover off in the garage. It lets everything dry out. Um, you want it to be nice and dry in there. Of course, after you wash it, drive it around and get all the water out of the exhaust or the baffle and the exhaust will break loose like hers and sound terrible, but also leave the airbox covers off. You can see that's how both these are sitting right now. Um, oh, sold the Wolverine. Um, my buddy bought it, he wanted it. Um, wanted a little more room in the garage to work on stuff so I can actually walk around in here. And once I got the Talon, the Wolverine's just, the Wolverine's a great machine, great family unit, great hunting unit. Um, you know, I prefer some things about the Wolverine over the Talon. The diff lock's better, the turning radius is better, etc but it doesn't have the suspension and doesn't have the power. It's a good bell drive, but it's still a bell drive. I want to con have control of my ratio. So as you can see, yet once again, the garage is all Hondas. Thank goodness. My life is a lot less stressful now. Um, but, oh yeah, some other things people are asking questions. Cleaners, so I tried a ton of different cleaners and this is the stuff that works the best. Everyone said, try the LA Awesome, try Simple Green, try Purple Power, whatever. Um, liquid Performance. Premium, it says premium on, you know it's good, cycle wash. I bought a five gallon bucket of it, so it's so good. I was like 50 bucks on Amazon. This stuff rocks. Spray it on with a pump sprayer, let it sit, and uh, you know, I, I mean, let it sit, I mean let it sit for like three or four minutes on the plastics. It'll melt off the dirt and it'll leave a nice shine behind. So it's pretty hard to beat. Um, I tried this other crap, this stuff. Um, this was expensive, it's like a concentrate, put it in a foam cannon, not impressed with it at all. Just put your LP or liquid performance cleaner in there and soak it on, good to go. Um, super impressed with that stuff. Like it, it just, it just freaking works. Um, and no complaints there whatsoever. So that's my thing on cleaner. You can see I clean the bikes here. Oh, these robes suck. This thing broke and whipped me in the back of the arm yesterday. Um, it's not nearly as good as the ditch pig. Uh, I ordered another ditch pig. The blue one ditch pig worked great. I got this green one after I lost my blue one. That thing sucks. Uh, it really hurt my shoulder. You should not be able to break a snatch rope with a four wheeler. Um, what else do you guys have? Um, the Silverado did really well yesterday. Actually got it dirty for once. The parking lot at the place we were riding at was a complete disaster. Uh, but you know, the 35s, and the locker and everything really helps. I was able to get the trailer through there, no problem. Um, and the power also helps too. This thing can definitely sling them. Um, it's nice to be able to put it, you know, low, first gear, lock it in there and just hammer down. Um, the bumper and stuff's nice too. My old bumper used to drag the ground pretty bad and so did the old floorboard. So worked out good. Now I need to wash that. Um, 
Oh, I did get uh, arched arms for the new Rubicon. I guess I can show you guys those things. So my buddy Justin, um, he's still selling these. They're really awesome. They've come a long way. Um, he's now using five eight times. So those times are a little bigger. Really pretty beefy looking setup. Um, these aren't raked. I have my raked ones off the green bike still, which I got rid of um, down in there. But I'm gonna try non-raking them because I don't plan on running Matt Monster tires in this one. I like how quick it is um, for Honda. And I'm just gonna put those on there and try to do something with the shocks where I can move the shock up a little bit. Because the problem with um, any arched arm is from the factory, you know, your shock wants to bolt about here. You have to move that, otherwise you're not gonna get any ground clearance out of the arch. So we'd have to swing them out to get the ground clearance. Well, if you swing them out that far, you start to uh, make it stiffer. And because it's out so far, you lose travel. So the stiffness is good um, for hardcore mudding and maintaining the ground clearance, like on this sucker. And then loss in travel is not a bad deal either if you're just mudding. But if you're trying to haul ass and you've got some nice expensive shocks, you really don't wanna waste any travel. Um, so I'm gonna try to do something fancy on here. Um, this crankcase setup, crankcase breather setup has been working great. I need to adjust the valves on this thing today. That's why I'm gonna start working on. Um, but coming out pretty good. And uh, yeah, next project's gonna be a Grizzly. Uh, most likely, unless something else comes out soon that catches my eye.